Okay guys, so in this video, I travel to the Caribbean island of Jamaica, known for the birthplace of reggae music, the Rastafarian lifestyle, Caribbean jerk chicken, beach resorts, and red striped beer. So come with me as I travel for the first time out of the US to Jamaica. in Kingston, Jamaica. My first time ever outside of the country. Really excited. A buddy of mine who I'm filming with, he came out here 24 hours prior to me and he was sending me some texts. He was like, gotta watch out, watch your back. Locals are saying the same thing. Like the travel agency website for Jamaica, it was like level two or three saying like, please reconsider travel. We're gonna have a good time though. There's no worries. We're gonna go skate, hang out with the locals, chill. We're gonna go to Jamnesia after this in Bull Bay, hang out with the Wilmot family, and just see what we can get ourselves into. Let's have some fun, folks. So we're here along the coast. So pretty much when you get off from the airport, the Norman Manley Airport, you take this huge strip going all the way around, all the way down the coast. Locals have been telling us to chill more around this area. Going down towards King Street down here, going into New Kingston, people have been telling us to just watch out. To start filming, things can be a little weird, so we're gonna be a little cautious. Because one of my buddies, he got here before me, he was saying as soon as he got here, he witnessed the fight and a kid bitch slapping another kid. And we're gonna go skate some cool places, which I can't wait to show you guys in a bit. From here, we went to the opposite side of the coast, to Bull Bay, to hang out at the Jamnesia Surf Camp to get to know some people. So we're here in Bull Bay, Jamaica at the Jamnesia Surf Camp, established by the Wilmot family, really well known as the first ever surf family, and also famously known for popularizing surfing on the Caribbean island right on the beach, so you can go hang out, surf, swim. It's a few minutes of a walk to the Freedom Skate Park and also a few minute walk to the Skate Goal. This is really the best place to come hang out if you skate, surf, and just want to hang out and enjoy the culture of Jamaica. There's going to be some live music today, so there should be more people coming around here to have some fun and yeah, we're going to just film what we can and just enjoy. Yeah, they give us rum. <laughs> Fucking homies, dude. We ended up getting KFC. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. It's the best in Jamaica. Dude, that's so crazy. <laughs> we really got KFC. Better, better than America. <laughs> After eating some KFC, we went to go skate the Freedom Skate Park to go skate with the locals and see what the local scene was like. Yeah, I love it here. This place is so nice. This is the Freedom Skate Park, the first official skate park in Jamaica located right outside of Kingston in Bull Bay, built by the locals and the help of the Concrete Jungle Foundation, an international nonprofit organization that builds skate parks and runs youth development programs in communities around the world to promote health and well-being, access to education, and a solid community development. Shout out to the locals for being really cool and welcoming, and this place was super fun. And I was happy to get some clips here, so check it out.
Journey to the gully. To the gully. Gully we go. My goal or objective for today is to land an eel slip off the kicker or send it round. Hope I can land one today. Maybe not. Cameraman, what's your objective? I just want to skate, dude. That's all I want to do. No tricks? Something. I'll land something. As long as I get a clip. Okay. Let's get to it. This is the Skate Gully, located by Wikiwaki Beach, Bull Bay, was once an abandoned gully that was turned into the first ever DIY skate park in Jamaica, with the help of Ella Shama and Esther Beckford, Iva Wilmot, and the other locals to make this a monument in the skate culture of Jamaica, right before the Freedom Skate Park was made. This spot is really cool and interesting, so yeah, let's get some clips and have some fun. nowadays you have a bong and then you have a vaporizer this is like the first uh bong so white has stolen everything from black white 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 supremacy has stolen everything and that's why we need black supremacy which is africa for the african man and woman and every nation for themselves so that we restore unity for back to africa so they stole even the bong from africa which was the chalice first and they've also stole the vaporizer like her babe they have another one and it's called a steam chalice but the steam chalice has another screen on top and they add charcoal to it and with the charcoal you light the charcoal and then it has the screen on top and it heats up the weed through the coconut it doesn't burn it we don't do this to party or to get high or just to uh, celebrate. Herb is a way of life. It's a form of daily meditation, daily ritual, and to find yourself within yourself, the God within, the black man within all of us, especially the African man and woman. The herb helps. It's sacramental and it goes back to the beginning of time. Give thanks to the black Christ and King. Give thanks to the prophet, priest, and king. Holy Emmanuel, King Celestia, Jah, Rastafari, Marcus, King Celestia, Jah, Rastafari. All right. 
We're here with the Zilla, the homie. So this is the song. This is the song that it gets from here to the shadows. Perfect edge. So next step, right? It's a little water on the knife. Show it like that. One more. Put them in your brain, in your oven. So you have to make sure it's right. This is the coaching. This put the herb in this. Put in the herbs. As we would say in Jamaica, slap the chalice. I'm an Azila, I'm a friend one shot. You got a friend Marco. So before we do that, for bless the chalice, so we say, see, we do give thanks and praise, you know, to the most high one God, you know, for bridging, you know, bridging, and hide you dwell in a unity. So we're gonna, we're gonna light the chalice and give praise to the most high one. This is the most high Jah Rastafari. Right. Fire up on the chalice like you like. Now that I'm back home, I can tell you guys my final thoughts on my experience in Jamaica. My time in Jamaica was overall an amazing experience. The people were really friendly and welcoming, the food was amazing, always cooked with fresh and healthy ingredients, and the good vibes were just all there. I want to thank my friend Devin Solano for coming out and filming this experience. I want to thank Diego Flores and the Frog Boss the Wilmot family and everyone at Gymnesia for being so kind and welcoming during our stay, the good homie Azila, and the little homies Corey, Nico, and Joseph for always making sure that we were safe and showing us around. I really want to go back to check out other parts of the island and actually go deep into Kingston next time, now that I know people, so let me know if you guys want to see that. Thank you guys for watching the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one.